after Old Stone, I was actually um, I was quite depressed because um, the experience of making Old Stone was a very dark uh, experience, you know, and and it's so funny because um, and it was a hard experience to to go through, you know, making your first feature. You know, we we were um, yeah, like you know, the film was actually banned in China, so we never really fully finished the the experience of showing it to to an actual audience that we made it for. Um, but I had, um, I think that for me, it was just personally, I, 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 you know, there was a lot of darkness in that film and probably a lot of myself uh, in that experience that I was looking for something a little different. And, and also because, you know, after making a film that is a critical, you know, film, um, everybody thinks that that's the kind of filmmaker you are, you know, I, and I kept having to tell people that I never made a thriller or a noir before that film and I only had even tried to make that film in that way just because it was the only way I could get the money to make it you know and of course you know once you had that limitation you know then we made something that was ours um so I actually you know that taught me a lot of uh, a good a, a great a lesson in terms of you know never think about restriction as you know like to, to freak out about it but because it will always have happen you know so you just have to take those restrictions and then you know, go beyond it, you know, and, but I think that my main thing wanting to do, um, to live the same, the completely, completely different way than Old Stone was because the, the pacing of the, of the, of the editing, Old Stone was a thriller and I had edited it in New York and it just, I remember the pacing just getting faster and faster and faster that it was really kind of a, um, exhilarating, but also a nauseous experience, um, and I, I wanted to, especially for this particular story, I wanted to make sure that the audience were witnessing real life, you know, like that the passage of time was a, was a very important uh, theme for me in this film. So I, I knew that, that that kind of pacing would not be the right uh, way to, to, for, for it. So, um, so I, you know, to completely make sure that I don't get that kind of rhythm in, in, uh, to live the same as I did in an old stone, I, I decided to change up the entire post production team and to do it all in Argentina, where I felt there would be a sort of a understanding and a and a connection to sort of a more of a hybrid movie, where um, we're not um, like in America, completely, completely, systematically um, slave to it, the um, the audience feeling you know of focus groups and and oh we need to keep their attention you know I didn't want that kind of um, responsibility for this particular film um, but then I also didn't want the European style of sort of that auteur filmmaking where you know it would be my you know like I would be sort of the person you know almost a god you know in, in that room I, I don't want that um, and I felt like Argentina was somewhere in the middle you know where it would just be like I was perfectly happy if the film came out to be a lot more experimental than it actually is now. But um, so I, I wanted to do something completely different. Let's just say that's the short answer.